came to Hope Church, I was head chair. Before John came, I, in assuming that position, I told our ad council words that they didn't want to hear. That either we need a new pastor or we will close the church in five years. It's been a wonderful experience to have John come to us. We do sense the loss that you had at Dixborough. And um, though we apologize for that, we don't regret his coming. He's been a joy and a blessing. You've been a blessing to me, John. <coughs> As I recall the number of times that we have eaten together at Beta West, on, oftentimes on Monday morning, because that's the only day I have off. You've been a blessing to me, John, when you allowed me to come into your study and, and pray. You'll never know how moving that was and how building it was for me to have a pastor that wanted prayer and enjoyed praying together. Soon after John came, we started to look at ways of how we could build a church. And we went to many meetings, Maribel and Chris and Nancy and, and Keith and I. We spent many Saturdays going to meetings with other churches so that we could learn better how we might bring our church into a growth trend. Thank you, John, for... Yes, you want to say something? No. Thank you for your willingness to work with us and work for us. We have come to a church that is ready to grow. A church that is going to be at some point in time, I believe, one of the flag ships of this district at least. Hope has always been known for being a missionary-minded church, and that continues to be strong. But we will be a leadership church in the conference in the district. Because of the foundation that you've helped us build, as we looked at five characteristics of a fruitful church, and have incorporated a few of those things in our, in our worship and in our uh, work. May the Lord bless you as you grow deeper in faith. May the Lord keep you saved. And may you feel his presence in your retirement. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. That is, may always be aware of his presence. And in that awareness, grow in your faith. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you, and in so doing, make you a reflection of him. May the Lord give you peace. Each of you have said so many times at, at funerals, a peace not that the world gives, but a peace that only Christ can give. We will miss you, John. We hope that you'll return at times. We hope that you'll continue to pray for this congregation that has loved you so much. And in departing, may you be blessed. In retirement, may you have joy. In leaving from us, may you never forget that we have grown together in Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs>